Yeah, it was my first time on a red carpet like this, so I honestly had no idea what to expect. And after being here for about 36 hours and seeing everything that goes into it, it gives me a new appreciation for what it takes to put on a show like this. The entire carpet is built in just two days. This is solid gold, yes? Yeah, that right. you're using to paint? Right. Okay. Of course. Solid gold. And the national shows use stand-in celebrities for practice interviews in anticipation of the real thing. It's not all glamour. We're all walking in our finery. Yep. It was hot in the 80s, and the interview spaces are tight. But once the nominees started arriving, it was a blast and a dizzying stream of stars. Of Grabbing people is the hard part. How do well, you grab them? They're famous. Just grab them. They're so rich. If that bothered them, then screw them. <laughs> That's their problem. Sometimes the celebrities stop. Yeah. Seattle. Seattle. Anne. I love her. Are you going to make me cry again this year like <laughs> you did last year? <laughs> How kind of you to ask. <laughs> Sometimes they didn't. Chrissy. Snohomish High School. Chrissy, Seattle. Seattle, Seattle, Seattle. Seattle. Snohomish. But the mention of Seattle did always get a reaction. Oh. And a lot of people don't know your connection to Seattle. Yes, I used to live there. I loved it there. Yeah. And it was the Seattle rep was one of your That's first right. jobs out of college, That's right. right? That's right. For the last time I was there, uh, our youngest son, we went to see the Seahawks because we know uh, Coach Pete from when he was at USC. So we went to watch the game. So this means you only ever root for the Seahawks, correct? As a matter of fact, that is my team. <gasps> Breaking news. Truly. We met recognizable faces from Netflix. So if you were not here right now, what would you be doing on a typical Monday night at this time? Um, probably doing homework. So this is a good, like, get out of homework car. This is a good, like, homework pass this coming here. So, yeah. And NBC luminaries were everywhere. By the way, Mark is, like, the world's biggest Gilmore Girls fan, too. So he's very excited to see you in awesome. person. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Thank man. What can't you wait to get out of tonight? You look wonderful, but what is the first thing you'll rip off? Uh, man, I don't know. Everything is so delicate, like the cuff links, the watch. You know what I mean? I have to, like, take my time and do it all, but probably the shoes first are okay. coming off. I actually opted to skip high heels for comfort. No one can see him. The highlight was unexpectedly talking to Alec Baldwin. It started with a simple exchange of gestures. Then when he walked over, it was a case of perfect timing for live television. Ladies and gentlemen, Alec Baldwin, how are you, sir? I'm great. Seattle, NBC, good to see you. Oh, Seattle, I love Seattle. Then as quickly as it began, it ended. We packed up and flew back home with memories that'll last a lifetime.